Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a fun fall craft for you today. We're going to use some bottle caps and some paper and some googly eyes and some really just basic craft supplies. If you don't have what I'm using, just um, substitute. I'm using some bottle caps, and what I did was I asked uh, some friends of mine to save their bottle caps for me, the young and single friends, and uh, I got all kinds. So that's my recommendation to you if you don't drink beverages with bottle caps because, you know, it's pretty much just beer and wine coolers of bottle caps nowadays. All right, we're going to start by making the apple, and um, I'm going to begin by putting some glue into... Oh, let's do the red bottle cap for that. And I would recommend tacky glue if you're working with kids, uh, but I'm not right now, so I'm just going to use my regular glue. And uh, then I'm going to take a smaller white circle. This is a three-quarter inch circle, and I am going to cut it in half. That was a one inch circle, by the way. And I'm just going to make, a, just use a black marker to draw some seeds on our little apple slices here. And then we're just going to glue that inside of our bottle cap with some white glue. Let's put a little bit on each side. It'll dry clear, so don't worry if you go a little crazy with the glue. It'll just take longer to dry if you go crazy with the glue. Let's push them together so you can see that nice uh, rim of the apple and set that aside to dry for a moment. Then you want to cut a couple leaves out of some green paper. This is just that uh, 24 pound Astro Bright paper. It's very inexpensive. You can get like a huge package of it for a couple dollars at Sam's Club. And uh, we're going to be using that as well as part of a stick just from a, uh, you know, just from the lawn. You pick up those little sticks. You know what I mean. If you're if you're a homeowner, you know those little branches that have fallen down. And put a little bit of glue on the back. Put on your little leaves, like just kind of push it up to the top. And your stick. I just want to make sure my leaves stick out so you can see them. And there is our little apple. You could put a pin back on that or a magnet, whatever you want. But I'm going to set that down like that to dry. And the next thing we're going to do is a pumpkin. And that is, again, very easy. We're going to want a one-inch circle in orange and you want to grab a colored pencil either in brown or orange and simply draw some curved lines on each side so it looks like the uh, the segments in a pumpkin you know how the pumpkins have kind of those um, those lines you know what I mean the little up and down lines and then use a black pen the same one we used for our seeds to draw some jack-o-lantern features on there take your time with it you could have whatever shapes you want I don't think I like a circle. I think that's going to be a, uh, make that a triangle. And then just the mouth. And you're going to glue that in a bottle cap as well. We'll use this orange one since it's already orange. How about that? Put that right in there. And now we need to make some tendrils on our little pumpkin. So grab some floral wire if you have it. If not, it's still going to be cute. So don't worry about it. But if you have some floral wire, that would be great. This is green floral wire, so it's even better. And just want to wrap it around a few times. All right. And use wire cutters. Never use your scissors because you'll make a nick on them and then they'll be a pain to cut with. Snip that right off there. And then I'll grab another glue stick here because I'm running low. Then we're going to flip our little pumpkin over and we are going to flatten out just the middle, kind of stretch it and flatten it a bit so we'll be able to glue that on the back. I might use my blade just to flatten that down. And for the stem, we're just going to use a little bit of twine. So cut a little piece of that off. All right, then we'll put our glue down all at once. And you could even glue a pin back or magnet at this time. You don't have to wait and glue it later. We'll put that little tendril there. We'll put our little... I'm just poking that in so I don't burn my fingers. And there, whoops. I did that sideways. We don't want to do that. We want to move that over while it's still wet and gluey. There we go. Oh my gosh, I need more glue. That's not going to cut it. That ain't going to cut it, Lindsay. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Now we're gluing with hot glue here. And there is our little pumpkin. Ain't he just cunning? I think so. All right, last but certainly not least, we have the turkey, which is our most ambitious bottle cap project yet. Uh, we're going to begin by putting our one-inch brown circle in there. I'm doing this in a class of kids later today, so I actually punched, all, punched out all my circles ahead of time so we wouldn't have any fighting over punches. You know how kids can be. I'm just making this kind of little blobby 
shape out of a scrap of red. And I'm going to glue that. Oh, not with hot glue. That'd be a little overkill. I'm going to glue that right there in the bottom of my bottle cap. And then I'm going to cut some feathers. So I've got a piece of uh, yellow and a piece of orange. So this is how I'm going to give it to the kids to cut later. So in case you're a teacher and you want to uh, have a little tip there, that way you're actually giving them something to do. If you give them everything pre-cut, then they're going to be through this project in about 30 seconds. And um, then you're going to have to come up with another lesson plan. So, you know, they could totally handle that. I would pre-punch the circles, but... You know, I would give them these to cut. All right, and then with a little scrap that you have left, you want to cut a beak. So there's our beak. That might be a little big. Might want to make that a little smaller. And we're also going to want a couple of googly eyes for this. So I'm just going to grab those right now. So I can put the cat back on my googly eyes because I have the uh, tendency to spill my googly eyes all over the place. That's happened once today. <laughs> this is take four, five, I don't know. All right, so now I am going to put some glue for my beak, and I'm going to put a couple dabs of glue for my eyeballs. I had to Google, I did a video, I tried this video earlier, and I got a googly eye with no Google in it. It was just a little, it was the weirdest thing. It was a little white, empty eyeball, the strangest things. I'm going to put our little eyes in there. And you can mismatch your, your googly eyes if you want. Have like a big one and a little one. That looks kind of funky. All right. You can put them together. Look at that. They were sliding all over the place. All right, there's our turkey face. Hopefully that the face features don't fall off when I uh, flip it over. Actually, you know what? Let's arrange our feathers right here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of build up a little fan of feathers. And I kind of like them with the middle one in front and the other one's tucked behind. Just like that. Now I'm going to put my glue right on the feathers. Or I could put it on the back and then just stick it down on the feathers. Those two ones on the bottom are going to have to be re-glued, but that's all right. Oh, and I did get a little crazy with that glue there, didn't I? A little bit of glue there. I'm just trying to do it so I don't, uh, so I don't spill my face. I don't want to spill my face. <sighs> and there's a turkey. I took from one turkey to another. There's a turkey. So there you have it. How to make cute little bottle cap ornaments. And I want to show you this one I did for Christmas time in uh, some of my kids' classes. Um, a little reindeer. I used the same sticks from outside and the same idea. Just did it as an ornament. So, you know, you could totally adapt this to whatever you want. And I think that's fun. I think it's great to find materials that you can recycle and um, make fun projects with it because it's practically free crafting. If you like this video and you want to see other kids crafts, click right there and you'll go to my kids craft playlist and you can look through the different kids craft videos I have and uh, pick one to do with your children. It's so much fun. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends or other teachers or anybody that has kids that would enjoy these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!